Hello, welcome once again. In this video we're going to create custom inputs in order for our player to move up, down, left and right. Here since the BP underscore new character is selected, we can't move in the gameplay mode, but when original Manichaean is selected we can control and can move the character. Then what we're going to do is we are going to create some custom inputs. In this case we need to go to edit and then project settings and then scroll all the way down here on the engine and select inputs. Now that we have input, we can create some custom mappings, which we can use to make our characters move into the game world. With this, we are going to have the character moving left right up and down. So we're going to use something called axis mapping. Defining input is done through user-defined bindings of action and axis mappings. Both mappings provide a mechanism to conveniently map keys and axes to input behaviors by inserting a layer of indirection between the input behavior and the keys that invoke it. Action mappings are for key presses and releases, while axis mappings allow for inputs that have a continuous range. Navigate to the axis mappings and click Add, Plus, to create the following axis mapping names with some key values and some scale values. So create a key value as Move Forward with W, with a scale value of 1.0. Similarly create S with scale value of minus 1.0. Now again click add plus to create another axis mapping with name right and left with key values of A and scale values of 1 and D with scale value of minus 1.0. Now go back to the viewport and to the event graph. In the event graph right click and in the search bar click forward and backward. So this is what you get, now drag from the execution pin a forward and a backward node and in the search bar. Look for add movement input, so here in the add in movement input, you can set up the scale of the movement. Now repeat the same process for left and right. So right click again and look for left and right, from the execution pin again drag and look for the add movement input. Now connect the axis value for both the notes respectively, now very important in the world direction, particularly for the forward and the backward movement set the x value as 10 and for left and right set the y value as 10. Now compile and save and let's go back to the third person viewport. On pressing the play button, you can see the character can go forward on pressing W and the character can come back on pressing D. And the character can go towards the left side on pressing A, and again the character is going to left on pressing D, I think there is something wrong. So let's go back to the project settings, I think we need to change the setting to minus 1. Fine now you will see this is working fine, the moment. It is what is forward as it goes backward, for A it goes left and for D it goes right so it is working fine. 